Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy of Walden University. And it is my pleasure to announce that I have been selected to present uh, at the International Conference on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Diseases and Related Neurological Disorders. And the title of my presentation is Effect Modification of Hypertension in Cognitive Related Mortality from Individuals with Diabetes. So let's go ahead and get started. Introduction, dementia is associated with many age-related disease conditions. Diabetes also is a chronic disease that also affects cognition. So in this study, um, we were looking for longitudinal evidence supporting the need to understand hypertension better along with diabetes in order to better characterize overall mortality. For this, National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey was used. Uh, this is a population-based cohort, uh, again, started from 1999 to 2002. Uh, which is which is similar to other methodologies that you might have seen uh, with my presentation. Uh, for this, adults age 20 years or older were assessed for digit some symbol substitution test and outcomes of all mortality were evaluated using cost regression. So among people with diabetes, what what I did was uh, looked at cognitive dysfunction. This is all among people with diabetes. So among these people, when there was hypertension introduced, uh, then there was higher levels of cognitive dysfunction. And this is happening among people with diabetes. And sometimes that's confusing. So results, uh, about 10.1 years of follow-up uh, percent of deaths from low cognitive function uh, was pretty high. Um, and then for all cause mortality, 2.35 times is the highest, is, is the amount uh, that the overall mortality takes place. So I'm going to explain this slide in a better visual. So right over here, um, when you're looking at cognitive dysfunction, I explained to you about 2.35 times uh, more likelihood of mortality than individuals who do not have cognitive dysfunction. Now, when we're looking at individuals with hypertension, uh, with cognitive dysfunction, uh, then it's uh, 1.53 or 53% uh, higher likelihood of mortality than uh, individuals um, that did not experience this. Uh, when we're looking at uh, then cognitive dysfunction but no hypertension, then of course this drops down to 1.41 and it is no longer statistically significant. So what does this all mean? Our research shows not only that when an individual has diabetes, they're more likely to have higher mortality from cognitive dysfunction with hypertension uh, than those individuals without hypertension. So again, these are all people that have diabetes. Our research also shows that uh, low cognitive dysfunction leads to higher mortality. In addition, diabetes individually can directly cause increased overall mortality. So not only increasing dementia, not only increasing surveillance efforts, but understanding and screening for comorbidities such as hypertension and diabetes is extremely important to have uh, uh, better outcomes from uh, these diseases and have better outcomes from cognitive dysfunction. Thank you for listening. Before I leave, I wanted to leave you with uh, the simple diagram uh, but showing a lot. Uh, so uh, how does hypertension in fact call, cause dementia? Uh, some of the things are uh, focal brain atrophy, uh, ischemia or hemorrhagic stroke, 
uh, white matter disease, which if increased, then it can cause dementia. And then amyloid accumulation. So these are four uh, types of causative agents that uh, lead to dementia if you have hypertension. Thank you for listening.